guys, this is Gabe, and today I'm going to be reviewing Deadpool and Wolverine. I don't talk about this much because I'm mainly a family-friendly YouTuber, but I'm a fan of the Deadpool movies. I haven't done much research on the character comic-wise, and truthfully I'm a bit uneducated on comics in general, but ever since I first saw the character, which funnily enough was in the game Marvel vs. Capcom 3, I became a fan. When I saw the trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine, I was pumped, and my expectations were through the roof, and I'm pleased to say that this movie exceeded those expectations expectations. I think Deadpool and Wolverine is the best of the three Deadpool movies. I'd say it's up to the quality of Logan, and that's saying a lot given the love for that one. Before I get into the full review, I will warn you that there will be a lot of spoilers, so please beware. I'd advise anyone who hasn't seen this movie to turn away now, because trust me, you're gonna want to go in with no spoilers for this one. Anyways, on to the review. The movie follows Deadpool as he discovers via the TVA that his universe is going to be destroyed due to Logan, who is supposedly his universe's anchor dying in his movie. To fix this, Deadpool works with a reluctant, depressed variant of Logan who let his entire world down. Throughout the movie, we learn that he was unable to save the X-Men and they were all killed in his universe. I absolutely love the character arcs for Deadpool and Wolverine in this movie. Deadpool struggles with wanting to feel needed by people, while Wolverine struggles to let go of the past. Both of these arcs are explored beautifully and carefully throughout the movie and I love it. Also, the soundtrack might be the best of the Deadpool movies and that's saying a lot. I love how from time to time the fights are synced with the songs, while other times it's used for comedy. The opening credits were absolutely hilarious and graphic in the best ways. It was mind-blowing seeing Deadpool using the Logan variant of Wolverine's bones to fight off the TVA members. Now the comedy. This might be saying a lot, but I think this is easily the funniest of the Deadpool movies. All of the jokes landed for me. Deadpool is as hilarious as ever, and every single fourth wall break worked. Wolverine's the emotional anchor for the movie, but he has his funny moments, and they're all hilarious. Which brings me to the performances. Ryan Reynolds' as Deadpool remains perfect casting. He absolutely nails every single scene he's in. Hugh Jackman really does a great job in this movie. It's not as good as his performance in Logan, but he still gives it his all and it works. On to the cameos. Wow. I thought they revealed a bit too much in the final trailer, but surprisingly they didn't even scratch the surface. I did not expect to see Wesley Snipes back as Blade, but it was a great surprise. The way they handled X-23, who shouldn't have been revealed in the trailer in my opinion, is absolutely perfect and honors Logan in such a great way. Also, Chris Evans was hilarious coming back as Human Torch. Finally, the CGI. It's a bit wonky at times, but it's never outright bad. One complaint I had about the first two Deadpool movies is that I'm surprised no one ever points this out, but some of the CG just looks a bit off. I wouldn't call it bad, but specifically Colossus just never looked real to me. Something just looks off about him. In conclusion, I think Deadpool and Wolverine is one of the best movies of the recent MCU and the best of the Deadpool trilogy. It's a great send-off to the Fox X-Men universe and a great movie in general. I highly recommend seeing this in theaters on the biggest screen you possibly can because it is great. Anyways, thanks for watching.